highly contested property in East Jackson has its owners and the city of Jackson squaring off in court today. ABC 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sean Fawcett was at today's hearing. He joins us now live with the details. Hi, Sean. Hello, Kelly and Brad. More evidence and more witnesses were presented today as the city of Jackson and Paul Munt battle over the fate of a fire-damaged house on Roland Avenue. There's a big debate over this house on Roland Avenue. This is beyond repair. Uh, the work, the, the reconstruction work's been done improperly. Uh, it's not structurally sound. It's got a huge mold problem that's got to be addressed. It's a danger to the neighborhood. According to the city of Jackson, the home's owner, Paul Mutt, failed to make repairs in a timely manner. Now the city wants to tear the house down. David Reddick says the city is not treating his client fairly. It's an income-producing property for Mr. Mutt. By the same token, he's going to great efforts to restore the house to its original condition. Witnesses from the Lambeth area as well as city employees testified on the stand. One expert defended his mole findings to offense attorneys. It was a consensus among professionals that that is mold, and that is cake frosting. You bought a cake frosting? Yeah, had a sample of it last night. The city of Jackson argues the condition of the house poses a safety hazard to the community and is a liability to the area. A house like that creates a blight on the neighborhood that punishes all the innocent uh, neighbors. And uh, it's, it's not about Mr. Munt, it's about this house, about this type of house. Munt's attorney argues his client can correct the house's problems. Mr. Munt needs additional time to complete the house. If the court decides to give him that additional time, He'll be able to come in and complete the house as he intended. Now the judge says he will look over the case and issue a written verdict within a few days. Sean Fawcett, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Sean